It started with a single post on X, one of those moments where the world stops to see what Elon Musk will say next. The anticipation was electric, as followers and space enthusiasts speculated wildly about what was coming. Elon Musk unveiled the Raptor 4, the next leap for SpaceX's Starship rocket. This wasn't just a technical update, it was a bold statement about the future of space travel and humanity's place in the cosmos. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a game-changer for Mars ambitions. The Raptor 4 represents a new era, one where interplanetary travel could become not just possible, but practical. The Raptor 4 is more powerful, more efficient, and far cheaper to produce. Its engineering pushes the boundaries of what's possible, making it a cornerstone for future missions. SpaceX's goal remains clear, make humanity multi-planetary. Every innovation, every test, and every launch is a step toward that vision. Musk claims the new engine achieves record-breaking thrust for a methane-fueled rocket. This means more power for heavier payloads and longer journeys, crucial for Mars missions. Its design is radically simplified, echoing the relentless iteration that made Falcon 9 and Merlin engines so successful. Fewer parts mean fewer chances for failure and faster, cheaper production. Raptor 4 is the heart of Starship, powering both the super-heavy booster and the spacecraft itself. Without it, the dream of reaching Mars would remain just that, a dream. Improvements here ripple through the entire system. More power means more payload, better efficiency means less fuel, and lower cost makes Mars missions feasible. Every advancement brings Mars closer within reach. The timing of the announcement coincided with rapid Starship testing at Starbase, each flight feeding data back into the design. It's a cycle of innovation, test, and improvement that never stops. Raptor 4 is the result of years of learning, testing, and pushing rocket science to its limits. It's a testament to SpaceX's philosophy, fail fast, learn faster, and never settle. It's not just about reaching Mars, it's about building a city there. The Raptor 4 is designed with that ultimate goal in mind, sustainable, repeatable journeys to the Red Planet. Every design tweak is aimed at making interplanetary travel routine. The dream is to make trips to Mars as regular as flights across the Atlantic. The new engine's simplicity and power are what could finally tip the scales for Mars colonization. It's the missing piece that could turn science fiction into reality. SpaceX is betting everything on this engine. The company's future, and perhaps humanity's, rides on its success. The Raptor 4 isn't just another milestone. It's the foundation for the next era of human exploration. It's the engine that could carry us to a new world. The countdown to Mars just got a lot more real. With Raptor 4, the dream of a human city on Mars is no longer a distant fantasy. It's a future within our grasp. To grasp why Raptor 4 matters, we first need to confront a fundamental challenge that has shaped every rocket ever built. This challenge is captured by the rocket equation, a deceptively simple formula that dictates the fate of all space missions. It's simple, but brutal. Most of a rocket's mass is fuel, leaving precious little room for cargo, crew, or scientific instruments. This tyranny makes ambitious missions, like sending humans to Mars, incredibly daunting. Every extra kilogram you want to send requires exponentially more propellant. The cost and complexity skyrocket when you're talking about building a city on Mars, not just landing a small robotic rover. That's why engine efficiency isn't just important. It's absolutely everything in rocketry. A more efficient engine means you can carry less fuel, build lighter rockets and deliver more payload to space, making missions more feasible. Even small improvements in efficiency have exponential effects, unlocking new possibilities for exploration and settlement. But efficiency isn't the only hurdle. Lowering engine costs is just as vital. Starship's Super Heavy Booster uses 33 engines, so price and reliability matter more than ever. Rockets of the future must be mass-produced and affordable, not hand-built showpieces for a single launch. SpaceX's challenge is clear. Make engines that are cheap, reliable, and efficient enough to support a new era of space travel. Raptor 4 is designed to break this tyranny, rewriting the rules of what's possible for rockets. It's the lever that could make Mars not just a distant dream, but a practical, achievable goal for humanity. The future of space travel depends on solving this equation and overcoming its tyranny once and for all. SpaceX is racing against time and physics to do just that, pushing the boundaries of what's possible for the next generation of explorers. Raptor 4 is all about more thrust, better efficiency, and radical simplicity. 
Musk's target, 300 tons of thrust, up from Raptor 2's 230, that means bigger payloads and safer launches for Mars missions. Efficiency is measured by specific impulse. Raptor's full-flow staged combustion cycle squeezes every drop of power from methane and oxygen. This tech is rare and complex, but SpaceX is making it work at scale. The real breakthrough? Cost and simplicity. Musk wants to slash parts, welds, and complexity. Making engines stronger, cheaper, and easier to build. Rumors put the price at just a few hundred thousand pounds per engine. 3D printing and mass production are key. Every part removed is one less failure point. Raptor 4 isn't just better, it's designed for factory lines, not labs. Hundreds, maybe thousands will be needed for a Mars fleet. This is the engine that could make interplanetary travel routine. To truly appreciate Raptor's leap forward, we have to look back at Merlin, the engine that made Falcon 9 and reusable rockets a reality and set the stage for everything that followed. Merlin wasn't just a workhorse, it was a revolution in rocket engineering, proving that rapid reusability was possible and changing the economics of spaceflight forever. Merlin's gas generator cycle and kerosene fuel were perfect for reaching Earth orbit, delivering satellites, and building a business. But for the dream of Mars, they had limitations that couldn't be ignored. Kerosene leaves behind soot and residue, complicating engine reuse and maintenance. Methane, Raptor's fuel, burns much cleaner, making it ideal for rapid turnaround and, crucially, it can be produced on Mars using local resources. That's the key to a self-sustaining colony using what's available on Mars to fuel the journey home and to build a future beyond Earth. Raptor's full-flow staged combustion cycle is a closed system, more efficient, more powerful, and a major leap in rocket technology. Before SpaceX, this technology was just theory in the West. Now, it's being mass-produced, turning science fiction into reality. Merlin proved SpaceX's philosophy of rapid iteration and bold engineering. Raptor takes that philosophy to a new level, pushing boundaries even further. Raptor is built on lessons learned from a decade of launches, failures, and triumphs, each one shaping the next step. Merlin gave SpaceX the confidence, experience, and resources to tackle the challenge of Mars head-on. Raptor isn't just a replacement for Merlin, it's the engine for the interplanetary age, designed for new worlds and new possibilities. It's more ambitious, more advanced, and ready for a grander stage than ever before. The journey from Merlin to Raptor is the story of SpaceX itself, a relentless pursuit of progress, innovation, and the dream of reaching farther. Now, with Raptor, the real adventure begins, and the next chapter of space exploration is about to be written. Raptor 4 isn't just about power, it's about making Mars affordable. Musk dreams of tickets to Mars for hundreds of thousands, not billions. That depends on Starship's cost per flight, driven by engine price and performance. More thrust and efficiency mean bigger payloads, fewer flights, and lower costs. For a Mars city, scale is everything. Fewer launches save billions. Cheap engines mean losing a rocket isn't a disaster. If rockets are almost disposable, colonization can move fast. Clean burning methane and full reusability are the real game changers. Starship can be refueled and relaunched like a plane. The main cost becomes propellant, not hardware. Raptor 4's design makes airline-like Mars flights possible. This is how space travel becomes accessible for all. Even Raptor 4 hits the limits of chemical rockets. For faster Mars trips, we'll need nuclear thermal propulsion, NTP. NTP uses a nuclear reactor to superheat hydrogen, doubling efficiency over chemical engines. This could cut Mars travel from 9 months to just 3 or 4. Shorter trips mean safer, healthier missions and more flexible launch windows. With Mars in focus again, NASA and others are reviving nuclear propulsion as the next big leap. Nuclear propulsion promises huge gains, but challenges remain. Reactors must be light, safe, and able to handle extreme heat. Launching nuclear material is politically sensitive and risky. NASA's exploring new designs, like CERMIT reactors, for higher efficiency and safety. Imagine Starship launching nuclear-powered ships and fuel into orbit, assembling interplanetary vessels for rapid journeys. This two-stage approach, chemical to orbit, nuclear beyond, could open the entire solar system. Raptor 4 lays the foundation, nuclear engines take us further. Together they make Mars cities and deep space exploration possible. The era of routine interplanetary travel is within reach. Science fiction is becoming engineering fact, right before our eyes.